what's up good people welcome back to my youtube channel this is isaac insights thank you so much for your continuous support yes good people it's even it's uh, at night I, I think it's 9 p.m here yes so good people have decided to talk to you about uh, semi-permanent houses I've been getting reports. By the way, I understand many people have interest of building a semi-permanent uh, semi -permanent house, but when they come over to consult, I understand we have those who, who are always specific. I want this specific fund number. Please, can you kindly help me? But uh, the info that they always get in most cases it always discourage them and that's why i've decided that today i talk to you about semi-permanent house a semi-permanent house and what you require to ensure that you build a good house for you and your family remember we always talk about bricks house stones house yes those they are generally permanent houses but it's also good that we remember that we have our friends, we have uh, our fellow beings who, who are not in position to afford a permanent house. Or even if they are in position, uh, normal today's normal life uh, becomes kind of expensive because people have to pay bills, you have to pay school fees, you have to pay your rent, who have to pay everything, food, the cost of food currently in Kenya is high. So someone may have money, but the, the money may not be enough to raise enough money to build a permanent house. Now, we have an option of semi-permanent houses. But I always tell people also, if you have that energy of building a semi-permanent house until you do your tiling, and even sailing and everything, then uh, I feel you should be disqualified in the group of people who can build a semi-permanent house because for you, I will advise that just build a, a house, then do finishing step by step. But for those who are going to build also a, a semi-permanent house, I will advise the maximum number of iron sheets that you need to use uh, the max, uh, maximum number of iron sheets that you need for a semi-permanent house, I always say that it's supposed to be 75. That's on higher side. But uh, the recommendable for even a three-bedroom house, it's 65 iron sheets. So I want to give you a breakdown for 65 iron sheets um, semi-permanent house. And uh, that uh, that breakdown will help you uh, to at least also plan and also I'll be giving approximate labor so that uh, you people do not suffer in the hands of fundies because we know these prices but I have learned something in Kenya maybe it is in Kenya maybe it is the whole world that even currently we always say that precast is the way to go but when f those people who know how to use precast just know that uh, precast is the way to go, in most cases, they will hike their labor cost. And that is one thing that makes me feel like, oh, it's not fair. It's not good because if a certain house can be done with certain amount of money, it's better uh, if only just tell the client that for this house, we will do it with this amount of money no need of adding uh, your your labor cost so in this video i will also be giving the the normal cost that we always uh, we all that i know if you call me, you if you call upon me that either come and help me build this house we i have this budget i will manage so what are the breakdowns i want to give you the quotation what you need for that for that house mm -hmm. just hold on mm -hmm.
Yes. So, what do you need for a, for a semi-permanent house? These are some of the things that you need. Number one, iron sheets, you need 65 pieces. Those are three meters. If you are building a semi-permanent house, once again, I will advise go for corrugated iron sheets or a box profile. Stop going for tiling series for a semi because... Instead of going for tiling series, then it's better you just go for normal corrugated iron sheet, uh, normal corrugated iron sheets, and then the other money that will be used for tiling, you can put them on your on buying bricks. It's possible, it's much possible. I will, I can explain how. Now you need sixty five pieces. That's uh, three meters. You need ridges. You need twenty five pieces. A uh, plain sheet, you will need seven meters. Roofing nails, so you will need twelve kgs. Rubber washers, so you will need thirteen packets. And by the way, for your information, the rubber washers goes for at least around eighty shillings or a hundred. Let's put it at a hundred to be on safer side. So you need uh, thirteen packets of rubber washers. You need. Roofing nails, we need 12 kgs. Roofing nails, I understand it's around 300 shillings each kilo, each kg. So, uh, what are we saying here? Roofing nails, 12 kgs, 300, uh, 300, it means you have your 3,500, 3,600, you will get your uh, enough roofing nails. Yes, and most likely they may remain. So you can just buy 10, 10 kgs. But 12 kgs is the sure bet because that's what we actually use. Then for ridges, 25 pieces each is going for around 5, 500 each because it's around 500 and 550, depending on the company that you are buying the iron sheets. That is it. So 25, you can multiply by... Uh, by 500, you'll get 12,500 shillings. And then uh, 65 pieces of iron sheets. Please, if you are going for a, for MRM, then you are on, on safe side to go with any color. But if you are going for these other companies, I will advise that please try to avoid charcoal gray for other companies because charcoal gray for other companies always fed within short time other 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 colors may take some time but for charcoal gray for other companies do your research it always fed within short period of time i'm not discouraging anyone i'm just giving you an info if you are going to buy maisha mabati if you are going to buy a uh, uh, is it Marisha? Even I don't. We have a lot of companies that have come up. Please, it's only MRM that I will advise buy charcoal gray. But other companies, please try to avoid charcoal gray because it always fed within short period of time. Then four by two for that house, you will need twelve hundred feet. That's frames. And then three by two, you will need three by two. You will need nine hundred frames for that house. That way, it will be done perfectly. Then fisher board will need two fifty feet, and then that is the first phase. For so for that first phase, you only need the things that I've read. If you calculate with me. Uh, I have not calculated, but if you can try to add up, most likely the iron sheets are taking 65. Let me just calculate. Uh, 65. It's always easy. It's only that if you ask Fundis, 1650. So 107 for iron sheets. Uh, remember, you need a standard. So with 107, you will buy the iron sheets plus 12,000 plus. So generally, I'm saying for the first phase, for a three-bedroom, for the first phase, 
if you have 250,000 will do the first phase. Why am I saying also on a higher side, just see the amount of money that have been used to buy the iron sheets, then ridges, then plain sheet. If you happen to use trees from the village, that is you buy a tree, then get frames from it, get post from it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mention the number of uh, the number of frames that we need. The number of uh, the number of post, the number of post that you need for that house will be one twenty pieces. And please ensure each piece is eleven feet tall, so that the height of your house will be perfect at the end. So for the first phase, I'm saying 250,000 shillings. But uh, if you are buying trees, for example, there is a house you are doing somewhere. I know I'll be doing uh, vi its video very soon. That house, the owner used 25,000 to buy both posts and frames. And uh, we were to do interview with her because she was willing only that uh, she's from Team Strong and she had to leave the country before we do the interview. But I say, Princess, thank you. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. So with the, with the 200, 250,000, I'm saying 250,000 so that you can also remain with some money in your pocket as you prepare for the next phase. But for a three-bedroom house, first phase, First phase, I mean, nyumba isimamishwe, igongwe iyo raili, waweke mabati, wabome nyumba. It will take you around 200 to 250. Most likely 200, but it will go to 200. So what labor are you supposed to pay at that stage? For us, we say that uh, if you have 30,000, if you have 30,000, Ken will, uh, will build that house. Na we utafute tuwa tuwa kuboma iyo nyumba. But uh, itakuwa, atakuwa, atakuwa mekujengea. Amesimamisha nyumba venye inafana kabiro everything online. Then, and I know that 30,000 by there you can negotiate even up to 25,000. I'm trying to give that price so that when you go on table, once you kusema hizi, akalisema hivi, na wewe unasema hivi. It's something that you can pack in. So for the first phase, you need that 250. Then we go to the second phase. Second phase is also another phase that uh, most people always uh, always feel like uh, it's uh, expensive. But now that is the plastering stage. For plastering, for semi-permanent, you need to do the... Um, Booming, then chicken wire, then uh, uh, pl you plaster that house. Then we leave it to the client to decide whether to go with the paint or something else. Now, what do you need for the second phase? For the second phase, you'll need at least 150 bags of cement. But I will, I will tell you this repeatedly. In fact, 150 is a lot. But I will say this. You are supposed to buy at least 50 bags. Let them use, let the fundies use them. After they are done, add another bunch of 50. Then from there, the fundie will tell you what is remaining to complete the house. So you need 150 bags of cement. That's uh, so that when you are working on your calculations, you can think about that. So cement is taking about... Um, uh, just a minute, 150 times um, 130,500. Currently, cement is going for 850. So, 130,500. That's the approximate. Then, sand, you will need 42 tons. Ballast, you will need at least uh, you will need at least 14 tons to do your floor and also the pavement around your house. Building a house, don't forget about the, about the pavement. I will be explaining the importance of pavement on any house. So, and termite, you need at least one liter or two liters. DPM, you need at least two rolls because of that floor. It's kind of big. Then ballast, you need uh, 
have said 14 turns of course chicken wire you will need at least five rolls to do inside and outside it's always essential uh -huh. and uh, its length is supposed to be 1.5 meters those rolls send you know to let to dogo we have smaller version and bigger version then ordinary nails will need 15 kgs of three inches hiyo ni ya kuweka ile chicken wire kwa, kwa after booming aya then goose wire you will need 3 meters pvc a pvc pipe you will need at least for for ventilation tunaekeanga ventilation kwa nyumba the red oxide that is when the client decide that he or she is going to use red oxide tunatumia hmm. hey, that is that tenja inafaa mnatumia kitu ni kule aya generally you look at what i've read you look at what i've read the total cost is likely the total cost or we can just do it as a people we have said 130 for the first phase for cement sand uh, 42 tons 42 tons of sand it means that you need around 42000 you add on 130 that's 170 ballast you need 14 tons 14 tons most likely it will cost you around around 18000 so 170 that's 188 dpm ni bit to 3200 so 6400 for two rolls mm -hmm. now what is the total calculation up to there we are at around we are rendering 200 if you add and determine yes then uh, chicken wire you need five rolls i understand each roll goes for around that 500 if i'm not if i'm not wrong around that 500 ordinary nail 15 kgs is going for 3000 pvc west pipe is going for one full length is 1200 red oxide clans choice you need around four packets and four packets is coming for 15000 no so now if we can just approximate it's not and uh, i've given you the 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 quotation you can at least also check the prices with your place but from those prices you will realize that the price is coming to around 350000 350000 what is the cost of labor of doing the plaster of that house cost of labor of doing that house i will say honestly you will need approximately a hundred thousand and the work of that a hundred thousand fund is supposed to do booming then do kitchen wire then then do plaster of the house plus uh, they will pl he plaster plus doing the steel and everything and then they do the flow. How is the flow done? Flow wa inatolewa ile mchanga iko chini, wanaeka ikiwa hard iko iko, alafu maram, alafu kokoto imwagwe ya ya chini so that that flow can be strong. But in most cases pia kunaanga pressure ya hard iko because hii flow haijabeba nyumba mzito kama ile tungeita permanent house yenye imebeba ukuta na ikabeba roof so what are we saying we are saying that if you have a total of honestly speaking it's supposed to be around 650000 uh, and the, and by the way the labor cost for plastering i've just said 100 but you can negotiate with your fundi but the minimum i understand the minimum will be at least 8000 that is after negotiating with your fundi now what are you supposed to do after that ile mambo ingine yenye nafuata mimi sikuangi unless you call me to come in and advise and even uh, be the be at the front line was kuisana but up to that stage you need 700,000 to build a three bedroom semi permanent house hapo 
ni kama hujagonga now we have mistakes that uh, our clients are doing a client decided to go for a cheaper person na nakujengea nyumba anaweka height ya 8 or 7.5 sisi tukikuja ukituita tukuja tunaanza ku hata tukifika tu even you yourself you can start identifying mistakes na by the way this roof is short eh hii roof inakaa hivi uh, not forgetting that on a semi permanent house roof ndio itaamua venye hiyo nyumba itakuwa inaka let me go let me not go into much i'm kind of sleepy you know i have been on my feet since morning i guess i thank you so much god awabariki mungu awasimamie sana na ningependa kuona sisi wote tukijipanga ni kuja ni wajenge you want me to do semi permanent i'll do it you want me to do a permanent house we will do it we are doing everything we are saying that lazima watu wetu wakuwe na mahali pa kuita nyumbani after that i say thank you mungu awabariki sana